Watch you guys today we're taking a look at fixed no internet connection in safe mode with networking. You can see we're on a Wi-Fi connection here. This video was requested by someone in the comments. All you need to do is to get into safe mode with networking is hold the left shift key down while you restart your computer. You can get to safe mode with networking various different ways. This is just one way and that's the way we're going to get to safe mode with networking. So I'm going to restart the PC. And uh, what we're going to do is boot up into our advanced options here so we can uh, boot into safe mode with networking. So just let the PC uh, restart and start up. So we're holding the left shift key down continuously while restarting, and it will take you to this page here where it says choose an option. We're going to go down to troubleshoot here. Click on troubleshoot, and then we're going to go down to advanced options. Inside the advanced options section, we're going to go to startup settings. You should now see restart. Click the restart button, and this will take us to our options. You can see here, we're going to be selecting number five. This is to enable safe mode with networking. So press number five on your keyboard, and this will restart the PC and take you into safe mode with networking. Now, there is other ways of getting in there a lot quicker, but this is the way we're doing it in this video. So we're getting to the login screen here, and it should take us into safe mode with networking. And as you can see, it's saying there's no internet connection on a Wi-Fi connection here. So that is what's happened. And this is the same problem uh, that person was talking about. Now, if you was on an Ethernet connection, you would connect to the internet straight away. But because you're on a Wi-Fi connection, you can see uh, there is a bit of an issue here trying to connect to the internet. So let me just quickly uh, show you uh, what we're going to do here. We're going to click on Open Wi-Fi Settings here. Inside that little document that's opened here you can click on this and it will take you to the wi-fi uh, connection settings here so let's go down to the drop down and select the wi-fi connection that we want and you can see connect automatically click on this and it will connect you to your wi-fi connection unfortunately there must be some sort of glitch or something because this does not work and it's not connecting it says connected securely to the wi-fi uh, connection here uh, but when we go and check the internet is not working for some reason it's not loading up and i think the reason for this is probably some sort of uh, driver is not loaded in or something like that so, to make it not work correctly so no matter what you do here it's not going to give you no internet and uh, let me just open up a browser here and we'll do a quick search here and you can see it's not letting us search because there is no internet so let me show you a quick way to resolve this issue and make it work so you can get internet access with Wi-Fi connection in safe mobile networking on Windows 11 and even Windows 10. So let me close the browser off here. And what we're going to do is we're going to log out of uh, this machine here. So let's go to the start button. I'm going to right click on here, shut down and sign out. So we're going to go to sign out. So let's click on the sign out here. This will sign us out and it will take us to this screen here. We're interested down the bottom here. You can see there's no internet connection here. Click on that globe there, and you'll see no internet secured. This is the Wi-Fi connection I want to connect to. So click this connect. Put the check mark in connect automatically, and push connect. Now, if you've connected to this Wi-Fi connection previously, it will let you connect to it. If it doesn't, you'll need to put in the secure password and number four, that particular Wi-Fi connection. And when you boot back into Windows here, you'll see that we are connected. It doesn't give us the Wi-Fi um, icon, but it does let us connect to the internet, as you'll see here. It'll just load up. There we go. And we now got internet connectivity in a Wi-Fi connection in safe mode. It must be some sort of issue where it's not loading up uh, the drivers for the Wi-Fi a connection if it's a dongle or something like that it must be something along those lines but you can see we've got internet connection there so let me just quickly show you once we log out here again i just want to quickly show you the wi-fi connection is connected and you'll see it here so let me just quickly log out one more time and uh, we'll take another quick look here because i want to show you there was a little wi-fi signal when we connected so let me just quickly sign out one more time 
And once we sign out, you'll see it disconnects it here. So click on here and then click on your connection. I'm going to disconnect first and then click connect automatically. Put in your details, connect. My details are already set on this system. And you should see a little Wi Fi uh, symbol here that's saying we are now connected. So that is the only workaround I know of, of getting this working. So you can have Wi Fi connection in safe mobile networking on a Wi Fi dongle. And it does work pretty easily there. So that is it for this video. Just a quickie today on how to get that working on a Windows based system. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on what videos you want to see. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.